This is Michael Pick for masternewmedia.org and we're looking today at Windows Live Writer Beta. So the first thing we're interested in is the fact that this is a very compatible program. You click up here and add new blog. You can add as many as you like and you can choose if you want a Windows Live Space blog or if you want to use your own platform. Here I'm adding a WordPress that I set up today, but you can also use Blogger, uh, any of the major blogging platforms. And basically all you need to do is fill in three boxes. You've got your URL of your blog site, your username and your password. And that's it. It's good to go. Right now you can see it takes about 10 to 20 seconds to download all of the information it needs, such as the categories and the stylings that you use on your website. If you don't have a blog already, it's very, very easy to set one up. Um, it takes a matter of seconds as well, and you've got a blog up and running, so impressive stuff. Give it a title and you're good to go. They really have made the interface incredibly simple and straightforward to use. Anyone that's familiar with a word processor isn't going to have any problems here at all. Um, it's completely what you see is what you get, unless you want to get into the HTML code. Um, which is also possible. You can add headings, styles, uh, obviously bold, italic, underline, strike through, bullet points, block quotes, links, pictures, and they've even included a spell checker for you. If you click on the post properties box here, that opens up down the bottom some slightly more advanced features. Um, you can deal with if you want comments open or closed. Um, you can change the time, so advanced post maybe or back post it and you can deal with trackbacks as well you can also ping anyone that you want to tell that you've been blogging about in this particular entry another cool feature is the uh, web layout section you can change how the page looks normal mode is a basic text editor web layout is a kind of word style look uh, you can even have a web preview which will show you exactly as it looks on your blog so here I have my um, WordPress account and you can see what it's going to look like with the links and the stylings you've got there. For the geeks of course we've also got the HTML code which is a nice little addition if you want to get down and dirty. The image editing features are also very simple and pretty comprehensive for a program this simple. Um, you can add GIF or JPEG files straight from your desktop, it will do all the uploading for you. And here you can resize them decide if you want the text to hang left or right around the image or if you'd prefer the image to be inset. Um, you can also decide if you want a drop shadow or to give it a photo paper look which kind of puts a white frame around it as you can see here. You can change the contrast and the brightness if you want to sharpen your image up a little bit or in my case I've just made it worse. Uh, you can also add, they've added some nice little features, some effects uh, you can make it black and white, sepia, sharpen it up, bring out the colours, um, blur it or emboss it. So that's quite a nice range of features there. Um, here you can see an image being sharpened and then put into black and white. Finally, you can also embed maps. Um, it will show you both um, aerial view or standard kind of world or road maps. And you can get in pretty close if you know what you're doing. I'm terrible with these map things, so I always end up in the middle of nowhere. It does have a road search at the top bar, but I think that's probably just limited to America for the time being. But um, this could be useful if you wanted to give someone directions or let someone know where you are. Perhaps in this case you're in the middle of uh, the Midwest, I think, by the looks of it. And maybe you're blogging for someone to come and rescue you. So you can also add the same features, you can hang the text around it um, to the left or to the right or you can uh, have the map inset, you can also change the size of it. You can add a little comment here which will appear at the bottom of the image which you can probably just about see. So that's the maps feature which is a nice little addition to an otherwise very well put together piece. Um, finally I just wanted to show you how quick it is to post it. So here it is sending it to WordPress with images and it's done. It will now open your default browser, in my case Firefox, which is crawling to life now, and you can have a good view of how it looks when it's finally on the website. So here we are, here's my test blog, and 
I'm pretty impressed with that. I think I'll be using this again and probably recommending it to my grandma as well, who I think could equally use it.